and their ability power gamers and welcome to the first ever software for accessibility this isn't a weekly or you know a monthly series anything like that but when i find software that i think might be useful to some of you guys i would definitely want to share it with you so you guys are going to get a special peek on the shorts desktop today so i can show you guys dasher here we go move that out of the way all right i think dasher is actually called a text entry program um but to me it's like the coolest on-screen keyboard ever it's kind of like typing meets missile command um if you guys use an on-screen keyboard like this one which is windows standard you know how slow it can be i mean it's like somebody using a regular keyboard and just type in one key at a time um plus you know there's the repetitive clicking letter after letter which can quickly lead to fatigue i know my hand and arm bothers me if i have to type anything very long dasher handles typing a little bit different um let me just jump in and show you what i mean in dasher you let the letters come to you so say i want to type yoda is a beast i just click once to sort it and i aim toward the letter that I want to top. See how it's expanding? Yoda is a sexy be beast. There we go. And it's going to be white. See how fast I top that? As opposed to tapping it this way. Yo. Duh. Whoops. It's not even going in. Anyway. Is. A. Sexy. Beast. So see, I mean, it's much faster just letting the letters come to me. There's no clicking except to start and stop the um, letters from moving. So, you know, I, I just aim for the letters I want to tap when they come zipping past me. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking you would never get the hang of this. And honestly, I thought the exact same thing when I started. But the more you use it, the better you get at it. Um, the website says that, you know, you can type up to 20 words a minute. And that I gaze users, yeah, I know it works with I gaze too, um, can type up to 30 words a minute. So when I read that, I was really excited to see what they meant. And when I tried it, to begin with, I was like, whew, I'm never going to be able to do this. I mean, look how, how fast the words go. I can't, I, I can't keep up with this. But the more you do it, I mean, it gets super easy. So now that you guys know kind of what it does, let's look at the preferences. First off on this main page, there's all the standard editing stuff like paste, copy, cut. You can copy everything you've typed with one button. Uh, you can save, open, 
make new documents. And when you do this, it's a text document. So say you've got a big research paper coming up. You can just save it. It'll be a text. You know, you can put it into Word if you need to, copy and paste. Whatever you need to do. Uh, you can you can do it right from Dasher itself. There's also a speed control down here. Uh, the speed I was tapping at was five. I think I started out at like one and a half. So you can see how much better I've got this. I've uh, used it more and more, and it goes all the way up to eight. You put in eight. There we go. And you can see how fast this goes, ready? Woo! Super fast. But, um... Yeah, you just pull backwards to backspace. But you can speed it up. Slow it down. Any speed you want it. And another thing on the main page. Uh, the alphabet that you want to use. Alright, so when you first start... I think it's set to English with limited punctuation. But, you know, if I'm typing on blog posts, I'm, I need that punctuation. So what you do is you hit more alphabet. More alphabets. And you can add, I mean, a wide, wide variety of um, different alphabet sets. Including, if you go to English, you can go to English with numerals and lots of punctuation. That's what I did. It's got an inner uh, keys. You can change paragraphs. Uh, capitals, numbers. I mean, it's even got hashtags for you Twitter people out there. But yeah, I mean, look at all these different languages. We've got Chinese, Cherokee. Uh, there's even an option for Klingon. Yes, Klingon. You heard that right. I haven't tried it, and I don't know how to speak Klingon. But, yeah, it's here if you need it. Um... And, yeah, then you can hit your preference button. Like I said, you've got the alphabet languages. You can select. Uh, you can change the speed. Right here and make it go faster. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. This is to set the boxes. So, you guys saw the boxes coming up as I was typing. Like, yellow meant I was entering capital letters. Red meant I was entering numbers. Uh, if you want the boxes to be bigger, you can make them bigger here. The bigger that you have it, the slower they're going to go. So, you know, if you need to slow it down, there's an extra option. Uh, it's got prediction. It adapts to what you type. So, you know, if you want it to kind of memorize what you're typing, check this box and it will. Uh, I'll show you an example of that in a minute. Let's go to the control tab. I will be completely honest. There are a bunch of control styles. I have no idea what they do. Uh, I'm using normal control, but there's an eye tracking mode. Direct, click. I'm sure the website can explain all that to you guys. Uh, you can set the speed here. Like I said, it goes all the way up to 8. Uh, I usually do it around 4 or 5. Uh, you can get it to adapt speed automatically. So, you know, if you're struggling with 5, it'll slow it back down to you. Uh, if you're having no problems at 4, it'll speed it up to where you need to be. Um, starting and stopping the text. You can have it work with your left mouse button. Space bar. Uh, the mouse position. Like, if you put it right on the crosshairs, that will trigger starting and stopping. Um, you can make it stop typing if you leave the area. So, lots of choices there. 
appearance. You can change the custom color scheme. This is what I did. I made mine rainbow just because I like the fact that my capital letters are yellow, my numbers are red, punctuation is green or pink. But I mean there's different there's different ones available. Um you can have it show your mouse position. You can have it draw a line between the crosshair and where your mouse pointer is. That that's how mine's set. And I increased the line thickness so you guys could uh, see it a little bit better. It's easier to aim at the letters, in my opinion. Uh, you can have it draw outlines around the boxes. You can change the font, make them bigger, smaller. And then if we go to the application tab, you can timestamp new files, uh, show the toolbar, speed control. Control mode, I don't know what that is, again. I'm just learning the uh, software myself. You can change the editor font. If you use text speech, there are some options in here for it. Uh, clipboard, you can make it copy everything when you stop typing. And here's an interesting one. Application style. Now you can make it type right here. Like you guys saw me type Yoda's Sexy Beast. And it went right here and I copied and pasted. You can also change it to direct entry. And it'll make it just like an on-screen keyboard. This application will stay on top of other windows. So say you wanted to type something to Twitter. You could go to direct entry and hit OK, go to Twitter, and use this like your on-screen keyboard. Okay, okay. Um yeah, let's see. Let's go down here. Uh, this is their website, but I was gonna show you. Like I said Twitter. Preference application to write the three. Apply. Okay. And we're gonna reset our window because it's a little bit too big to uh, see Twitter if I don't. So see how I clicked on Twitter? And now I can type. See. Oop, my on screen keyboard went over this one. Let me move it over. Alright, so I can type. Good. Space. Capital. Good. Morning. And if I wanted to tweet that, I definitely could. It's right here in the window. Uh, another thing, you know, I told you about the text prediction. Uh, I always type "Hello, Ability Power Gamers," or I say it at the beginning of my videos. But I, I type a lot too, so watch this. I've typed it so much. Hello, Ability Powered Gamers. That's how good the uh, prediction is. It learns super fast. I've been using this less than a week and it's already learned that. So, here we go. Let me apply it back to standalone. Um, now me personally, I will probably stick with on-screen keyboard for things like Facebook or Twitter. And use Dasher for posting longer things like posts at abilitypower.com or lengthy emails, things like that. I, I can certainly say it's already been a huge help with typing posts. If you watch our website, you'll know that sometimes uh, the content's kind of hit or miss. Uh, there may be a post up for two weeks, and then you may not 
see anything up for a couple of weeks. Uh, that's usually for a few reasons. Either I'm sick, which happens frequently, or my hand or arm is just too top tired to uh, top up a post from all the clicking and, you know, things I have to do the rest of the day. Uh, since I've been using this, it's definitely helped me keep up a bit better. So I wanted to pass it along to you guys. Uh, there is a website for the uh, Dasher project. This is where you can download it. And I'll put the link in the description. Uh, the best part of this program is it is completely free. I know, I was shocked too. Um, there's no malware, no ads, nothing. I mean, how shocking is that? Uh, anyway, if you have it, or you try it, leave me a comment and let me know how it works for you. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, at AbilityPower.com for more software for accessibility updates. And we'll see you next time on Ability Powered.